It's time to stand this mural. What does B-I-B-L-E spell? The Bible. When you read the Bible, the easiest questions to ask are who, what, where, when, why, and sometimes even how. Who, what, where, and how. Let's take a look at 2 Timothy 3.16 and ask some of these questions. Our first question is, where does scripture come from? Scripture, also known as the Bible, is breathed out by God himself. That means that the Bible is given by inspiration of God. We don't hear the phrase breathed out very often. I can't breathe out my influence onto other people, but God can. And that is exactly what he did. He used the power of his Holy Spirit to guide the minds of the writers so that they would write what he wanted them to write. This makes the Bible different from every other book in the world because it came from God. Our next question is, why did God want us to have the Bible? That's easy, so we can learn about God. We know this book is about God and it tells us what God wants us to know about him. But this verse explains more. Follow along in your Bibles. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. 2 Timothy 3.16 This word profitable means that it is good for us. This verse is saying that scripture, or God's word, is good for us because it is helpful to us. Let's keep going. There is still a lot more to learn in this verse. We know that God inspired the scripture to be helpful or profitable. And there are four things listed that explain how God's word can help us. These four things are teaching, reproof, correction, and training. But what do these words mean? Let's look at them one at a time. The first word is teaching. We need to teach the things that God has said in the Bible. A word you might hear for these things is doctrine. When doctrines from the Bible are taught, we learn the truths that God wants us to know. When we read the Bible, we learn about the things we are doing wrong, the things that God doesn't like. That is reproof, learning and understanding what we are doing wrong so we can correct it. The next word is correction. You probably know what that is. You might be corrected by your mom or dad or teachers. Correction from the Bible helps us to see what we are supposed to do to please God. It shows us the right things to do. And the last word is training. The Bible teaches us how to do the things we are supposed to do, how to live right. So what kind of training is this? What does the Bible train us in? Righteousness. God's word trains us in how to be right with God and how to do what's right in God's eyes. When we follow the Bible's instruction, it trains us so we will learn how to do what's right. We know that the Bible is inspired by God himself. He caused the authors to write what he wanted them to write. We can spend the rest of our lives studying it. The more we study it, the more God's word will guide us. Have you ever tried on someone else's glasses? What did everything look like? Was it blurry? Maybe a little hard to see? Without the Bible, it's like wearing the wrong glasses. When we look through them, everything's fuzzy. But with the Bible, we can understand God and the world around us more clearly. That's why we need to get to know God's word to trust it and to use it like wearing biblical glasses so we can be ready to make wise decisions. Join us to Sunday to your mom.